How's it going everybody, Ace Second Gaming here, back with another Apex Legends video. I know it's been a while since I've done one. I took a little bit of a break, a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, the reason for that was in my Discord. If you guys haven't joined that, it'll be linked in the description down below. You can check that out. I'm not going to go into a huge story about it. But after that, I got uh, kind of burnt out on Apex and burnt out on content creation. Also, my computer's a little bit old now, so I can't stream. I'm working on a few fixes for that, so hopefully the streams will be back up and running sometime soon. I'll keep you guys updated with Discord, so if you aren't in my Discord, link will be in the description down below. But today, the video that we're doing, we're going to be going over the pros and cons of every drop spot in Olympus. The new rank of Split Forks uh, Season 9 of Apex has come out, Olympus has a few new spots, so we're going to be going over the pros and cons of literally every single spot on Olympus and figuring out kind of, you know, where your team should drop if you guys are playing some ranked. So, let's start it off here. Pros and cons of every drop spot in Olympus, remember to like and subscribe if you liked the video keep up to date with all the apex stuff ring the bell also to be notified when i post a new video or if my streams go live all right hopping into this if it'll uh, actually work there we go docs starting off with docs we're gonna go kind of start at the top go around in a circle and then we go down and then kind of to the right uh, that's how I, I positioned it if you guys want uh you can skip to different spots uh, i don't think i'll be sectioning it out because it's a lot of really finicky work and i won't really be going too into detail about stuff so all right anyway docs pros lots of rotation options you got rift you got carrier you got turbine you also have fight night um but you also don't even have to go into the spots you can kind of skirt around the edges so lots of really good rotation options it does spawn with a car um and it also does have a beacon uh it spawns with a beacon it's not guaranteed beacon uh but then like it has really good rotation options the cons are it doesn't really have a lot of loot and the loot is spread out so it takes a really long time for you to loot it if you are going to loot literally every single piece of it um it's a little bit weird i don't like it and there's lots of 30 party potential with the rotation options those other teams also have the options to rotate to you so fight night rift carrier turbine all those people can rotate towards you so it's it's very easily you can get third partied fighting there is also a little bit iffy because like if a team takes the good buildings and you're pushed off of them you're not really fighting with a lot of loot and they do have it so fights can be a little bit scuffed so that's the pros and cons of docks next up we have carrier uh carrier has a lot of loot it's very stretched out uh lots of loot in the nooks and crannies of it it has a beacon at the front of it uh, it has a lot of uh rotation options so again uh you can go to docks you can go to oasis you can go to estates you can go to turbine i guess I, estates is a little bit weird but you can go to Turbine, you can go to Fight Night. There's a lot of really good options there. Sorry, if you see me looking to the side, I'm looking at a map. Uh, I'm not trying to look away from the camera. I'm scuffed as fuck when I do this. Sorry. So, uh, But it has a beacon. It has really good rotation options. Like I said, the cons are the loot is spread out. So it's very stretched out, very elongated. So it's very hard to loot all of it in a timely manner. Even if you drop separated, trying to get all the loot and everything. And if somebody drops at the back and there's a purple light mag that you need all the way back there and they don't have room for it because they can't find a backpack it's it can make things really bad it also doesn't have like a jump tower super close and it doesn't have a car spawn very close i think the closest car spawn would be docks docks or oasis depending on um you know where you go and then uh it's hard to leave if a team wants to fight so like if you're in a in a fight and carrier and like people are rotating from oasis you can't go to the oasis side because you're just gonna get stuck in the open you can't go to docks because docks is also very open it's very hard to rotate out of it if a team wants to keep you there so that's carrier uh next up we have oasis oasis has god tier loot has a beacon and a car spawn uh semi-decent rotation options because you really only have three good ones in my opinion you can go straight through the turbine you can go to estates or you can go to carrier i don't like carrier um, so I guess there's really only two good ones. I don't like rotating through carrier. I think carrier is a little bit uh, hard to rotate through. But if you're rotating through turbine or estates, very good options there. Uh, and then it's fast-ish looting if your team drops properly. So what I mean by that is if like you're not contested, this is perfect situation, perfect scenario. You're not contested. One teammate drops one building. One teammate drops the other building. The other teammate drops in the, like the back area. Um, kind of with like the balcony that overlooks the uh, the bottom part, if that makes any sense. So there's a lot of factors that go into this, but 
on the other hand the cons is teammates can stall fights for a long time with the height with the height options so holding the top of zip lines holding the balcony fights can get really drawn out and drawn out fights lead to third parties you have Elysium with the jump tower that could possibly rotate into you. You have carrier that can rotate into you. You have estates that can rotate into you. You have docks, you have turbine, you have all these spots that can just easily converge on you, especially if you're like really, really, really stalled out with the third parties. Like other third parties can come in, fourth parties, fifth parties, sixth parties. It can be drawn out. It is a highly contested draw spot with how good the loot is. Like the loot on the bottom part is so good. People really want those gold items. People really want that really good stuff. Uh, and then if you don't use the car, the space leaving is very open. People have free shots. So like if you're running towards the states, the states is just wide open. Um, like that field, there's not a whole lot of cover. People can pin you down very easily. That's what I mean by that. So there are the cons and pros with Oasis. Moving on to estates. Has a beacon spawn. Pretty decent loot. And then it also has very good rotation options. You're kind of towards the middle of the map. So like you got Turbine, you got Oasis, you got Elysium, you got Hydroponics, you got Hammer Lives, you got the Phase Runner. You got a lot of different stuff that you can choose from. Uh, there's also a jump tower nearby um kind of going towards like elysium like underneath that area if that makes sense you got a jump tower over there so you have a lot of rotation options I, the loot i say is semi-decent because like the buildings aren't that big like you have the three main areas the buildings in the middle and then the buildings on the opposite side uh like the the three like the two-story ones are the three options like those are the only spots with good loot in estates the smaller houses they take a lot of time to to loot to go in and out and through and it's, it's just annoying that's yeah that's why con loot is spread out making uh looting the entire place slow it's also annoying it's just yeah. it is also a highly contested drop spot i don't understand why estates is so contested i only drop estates because i like fighting people but like it is highly contested for not a lot of loot and like if you land in a building uh, one of the big buildings, you're probably going to be dropping on a team or on somebody else, so you have to hope that RNG is on your side. So It's also very susceptible to third parties. You got Elysium right there, you got Hydroponics right there, you got Oasis right there, you've got Hammond Labs right there, you got Turbine right there. There's a lot of spots to come from and third party you, and a lot of people want to rotate through states because they want to clean up those fights. So you have a lot of people that could potentially rotate into you, and it's very open in a lot of places like rotating leaving it's very open not a lot of cover and you're gonna get shot at if you're in that open so yeah next up elysium i like elysium personally um i think it's just a little bit out of the way so the pros of it it's a pretty good loot spot like it has very good loot especially in the middle it's very fast to loot it's a nice condensed area so you can get a lot of loot uh or like a lot of really good loot very quickly and then there's a balloon there there's beacons there like there's hydroponics right there that you could rotate into there's a lot of uh, really good spots but there's like a lot of really good stuff about uh, elysium but the cons are it doesn't have a lot of loot like there is four of the circle buildings and then there's like the one side area there's the middle area and then there's uh the second side area that's kind of more open like the side building area and then the side area so not a whole lot of loot there there's a lot of really good loot but not a whole lot of it so yeah it's really hard to ho or rotate out if a team is holding you like if a team is holding you from hydroponics your only real option is to jump tower out or go to the other side and if there's another team rotating from estates or like dropped in the middle of nowhere and like that narnia place with the car and they're trying to rotate to fight the elysium team your only option after that is to balloon out and then you have to basically hope that nobody's where you're ballooning to so it's really easy to get held in elysium and then also, if a team can test you there because there's not a whole lot of loot and there's not a whole lot of spots to play, you're really relying on RNG to help you out there. And relying on RNG, part of a battle royale, but it's not always the uh, the best way to be in a battle royale. You don't want to rely on RNG. Next up, hydroponics, right next to Elysium. Lots of loot. There's so, there's a ton of loot. There's so many buildings. There's two, four, six. 8, 10, there's like a 10 or 11 buildings there. It's nuts. Plus the underground part, there's a lot of loot. There's a car and a beacon. Somewhat decent rotation options. You got the car, you got the, the jump tower at Elysium. If the, the Elysium team left, you have the phase runner. Uh, you have a lot of different options to go. So really good rotation options. But the cons are, the loot is very spread out. It takes a long time to loot it if you want to loot everything. 
and then it's a very contested spot people like to drop hydroponics there's only a handful of times that i've said that hydroponics has been completely uncontested in my rank games and it's annoying to fight there because it's so spread out teams have so many buildings that they can fall back to there's so many armor swaps there's so many options teams can just be hiding in corners it's very easily third party from elysium as well so there's a lot of really annoying spots about hydroponics and that's why i don't like fighting there so that is a con bonsai sorry that's uh, not sponsored by the way <laughs> bonsai amazing amount of loot there's a lot of loot in bonsai um there's a car there's a beacon and then it's easy to split the loot with another team like if one team takes one building the other team takes the other building you don't have to engage the other team you can just rotate out and you still have a decent amount of loot like there's not a whole lot of loot there but there's a decent amount um, plus like one team could take the middle of like the two buildings like on like the sky bridge and then you can hop down and pick out like the open area where the crafting rotation or like the crafting station is so like you can split the loot there very easily the cons are it's highly contested if you're dropping here be prepared to fight people love bonsai people want bonsai people love the zip lines people love the amount of loot that's there people want to fight there so there's that and then the loot is spread out so if you're dropping there uncontested for some reason it's going to be hard for your team to get everything in a timely fashion and then rotate out. So you're probably going to be playing edge. So it depends on where the circle pulls though. So be prepared to loot that very slowly. And then fights here can be drawn out. Um, so you either get stuck in storm or third party has a lot of like teams like to rotate into bonsai, solar, Icarus, stuff like that. Hydroponics can rotate there. So there's a lot of different teams that can rotate in and then like um, Oasis with the zip lines and the height differences, fights can get drawn out for such a long time. It's, it's ridiculous how long fights can last there and people aren't afraid of storm as they as they should be um people think like oh it's only zone one i can tank this but then they don't think about zone two and zone three rotations so you get stuck in storm and people are just stupid so be prepared to stick in, to stay in storm have some heat shields with you but other than that bonds i fairly good drop spot next up we have the new ship the icarus <coughs> The pros are it has good loot, especially with the bridge. If you can find the key card, there's a lot of really good loot there. There's also a spot at the back. There's a spot on like the outsides. There's a lot of really good, good loot there. It has a beacon on the side of it. Uh, it has good rotation options. You got solar array, you got bonsai, you got orbital cannon. Um, technically you have the phase runner with how close it is to uh, like, you just go up the hill, but, um, and then you have really good options to three P bonsai solar, depending on the game. Technically, you could third party orbital cannon, but I really don't know who wants to go to orbital cannon. Orbital cannon sucks. But then the cons of it can be slow to loot, especially if you're trying to find the key card. If you're going through the entire ship, and usually one person drops on the outside of the ship, two people drop in the ship. So if one person can't find the key card and everybody has to come over to him to help find the key card, it can take a long time. Um, if a fight happens, like a team drops on you, if a fight happens, you could be instantly third party by solar array even if there's two teams in solar array they might just forget about each other to try and come in third party you so really easily third party by solar array and then it's awkward to fight it with the vines people can hide in dark corners it's just it's really bad to fight in in my opinion i think it's very awkward i think it's very tough it's very situational i don't like it just my opinion though but i'm sure some other people think the same way then we have solar array good amount of loot good rotation good map placement it's right in the middle has jump tower has a beacon has a lot of really good things about it the only bad thing about it is like a lot of sniper rifles spawn there by design but i personally don't like sniper rifles a lot of people do i don't run them else i have to but the cause are it's contested most of the time it's very condensed so they can like the fights happen almost instantly and they're really awkward to fight with like the middle part they're weird Easily third party by Icarus and also technically Bonsai, which you just slide down the hill if you can hear fighting in Solar Array. Um, and it's hard to fight in. Like I said, it's awkward. It's weird. I don't like it. Solar Array is like a decent spot if it's uncontested. If it's uncontested, definitely go Solar Array because of how good the rotations are. Rotations are key. Then you have Orbital Cannon. I think Orbital Cannon is a horrible spot to drop. I don't know. Like the, the pros are there's a beacon, there's a car. It's usually uncontested. There's not a whole lot of pros about Orbital Cannon. Um, the loot is terrible in my opinion because like there's really the only like the two side buildings and then the middle part on like the edge and then like the, uh, the little half circle and there's really not a whole lot of loot there. I think it's terrible. It's spread out way too far. It's slow to loot for not a good amount of loot and it's in the middle of nowhere. Like you really have kind of bad options like there is technically two car spawns I guess with if you like the outside. 
it's just it's bad i don't like orbital cannon unless you absolutely have to do not go there it's better to fight for somewhere than to go orbital cannon but that's just my opinion grow towers uh, i personally love grow towers and one of my favorite spots to drop it especially in ranked there's a beacon there's tons of loot and it's easily split with other teams like you can drop everybody gets their own tower like every team gets their own tower plus like some loot on the way out um can be fast looting if each like member gets their own tower so if you're dropping with a full team uncontested again perfect situation everybody grabs their own tower everybody loots their own tower you hit the beacon and then you can rotate towards gardens pick up even more loot you can rotate to the phase runner you can rotate to solar you can rotate to orbital to fight them for some reason um but the cons are it's highly contested the height makes it like really hard to, to fight and fights can be drawn out again like bonsai and oasis the height differences can really make it like drawn out if more than two teams come you can lose out on a lot of loot and be stuck in the middle like if you drop in the middle tower and two teams drop on the other side of the towers you're gonna be fighting like everybody's gonna be shooting at you because you're in the middle you're gonna lose out on all the loot and you're probably gonna have to die you're either gonna go to like the open spot with like the jump for the cars and try to rotate towards solar or get up towards the phase runner or try to hell marry your way out towards gardens but you're probably just gonna get chased down a shot and die it's about it next up gardens really good amount of like it's it's not a really good sorry it's decent amount of loot it's got a beacon has really good rotation options but it's highly contested people love to drop gardens like i don't think it's I, it's rare to have a like one or less teams like you usually have two or more teams drop with you people love going di uh, gardens and there's a lot of rotation options from rift there's the spot outside gardens that sometimes a team will drop to try and like third party and clean up. Grow towers can easily get there. Energy depot can easily get there. There's a lot of people that can get there really easily and you just get third party and die. That's my opinion on gardens. Rift, uh, there's a good amount of loot, good rotation options, especially with the phase runner. There's a beacon and a car spawn, but the cons are there's usually, um, usually at least one team that drops there with you, but you can usually split loot so if like more than one team drops you're probably gonna have to fight them though uh easily third partied there's uh power grid there's docks there's gardens energy depot a lot of spots can rotate into turbine i guess too but easily third party and the loot is spread out so even if you're alone the loot is so spread out it takes a long long time to to loot rift if you're grabbing everything it's 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 uh a weird spot i like rift though i like fighting in it it's cool it's a it's a decent area. It also looks really cool. I like the like the aesthetic of it. I don't know. Uh, power grid. Pose of power grid. Uh, it's got a beacon. It's got a jump tower for really good rotations. If you get the back, also you know how like it's kind of split into two with like the bridge. If you get the back of it, it had, there's a actually a decent amount of loot there. There's a lot of buildings there. But the cons are if you don't get the back, you don't have a lot of loot because there's only like three main buildings at the front of the actual power grid and then two smaller buildings so there's not a whole lot of loot there if you don't get the back fighting here off drop sucks because there's only a few buildings that you can play so you're really hoping rng is on your side and then lots of teams rotate through there so even if you don't get third partied right away teams are going to be rotating in so it'll just break out in a new fight and then that'll probably get third partied it's a it's a weird spot i don't like it fight night it's got hella good loot especially in the boxing ring lots of those uh um balls you can break uh fast to loot because of how condensed it is but the cons are it's loud you can't hear teams rolling up on you but teams can hear you a mile away especially for hopping in and out of the ring the uh the program throws a lot of voice lines out people can hear that it's usually contested and then fighting in like a contested spot and fight night sucks because it's just like that one main building so you got to really end them fast you got to get in there fast get the loot and then hopefully kill the other team quickly uh, there's not a lot of, not a lot of loot for the teams that do drop there because of how condensed it is so you're gonna be dropping on somebody else and there's not gonna be like enough guns there so you're gonna be hoping that you pick up a better gun first and then carrier docks turbine power grid all have direct spots there everybody has a direct line to get to you technically oasis has a secondary line to get to you too like it's very easy to third party fight night very easy to third party fight night everybody wants to go through fight night <laughs> next up turbine decent amount of loot there's a beacon and then it's also like middle of the map you can rotate anywhere you can go oasis you can go carry you can go fight night you can go energy depot you can go uh, power grid you can go rift you can go hammond labs you can go waterfall you can go states if i didn't say it already lots of different ways that you can rotate lots of different spots but the cons are if you fight here you will attract the entire map 
because you can go anywhere in the map, everywhere in the map can come to you. Lots of people want to go to Turbine and fight. You shoot one bullet, half the map shows up to say, hey, how you doing? It's also not fast. There's no car, there's no jump tower, so unless you have a mobility legend, which you should, you should at least have an octane on your team, you're not going to be getting anywhere quickly. So, and it's also loud and buggy. The audio still sucks in, in Turbine. I've had lots of issues with it, especially recently. I don't know why. Uh, I, th I thought they fixed that a while ago, but I still have issues with it. So if I'm having issues with it, other people should be having issues with it as well. If not, let me know in the comments. Are you still having issues with Turbine? Let me know. Next up, Hammond Labs. I'm including Waterfall with Hammond Labs. So Hammond Labs and Waterfall, I'm going to be including them in the same drop area. Um, just because it makes it easier. Because people that usually go Hammond Labs also go Waterfall and vice versa. So people that go Waterfall drop into Hammond Labs. I'm including them. If you don't want me to include them, that's up to you. But it's got a decent amount of loot, especially including Waterfall. Waterfall has the, the, the building there and has really good uh, bins. Has the bins underneath going into Turbine as well. So, sorry. Ugh, excuse me. It's also center of the map, so it has really good rotations, especially you can hop up into the phase runner. It has the, the jump tower balloon too behind Hammond Labs, so you can rotate to that. You can go into Turbine, which I don't recommend, but you know what? You're in Hammond Labs already. You're in the Death Triangle, so you may as well just go into Turbine. Cons. Fighting here will attract lots of people. It's the center of the map. It is in the Death Triangle. There's a triangle that splits like, goes up into Turbine and then like Hammond Labs and then like, it's like Energy Depot, Hammond Labs, like, kind of cuts it off, like, in the middle of, like, Hammond Labs and Energy Depot, and then in between Hammond Labs and Estate. Those are the two lines, and then, yeah, that's the Death Triangle. You shoot a bullet there, everybody's gonna show up. Um, more than two teams inside the physical lab itself, you're gonna be hoping an RNG. There's not enough loot for three, four, five teams to be splitting it, so you're gonna be really hoping that the other teams fight, and you're gonna be running out of ammo really quickly. So, yeah, you're really hoping uh, only one team drops with you. Plus, it's easily third party. Uh, next up, we have Energy Depot. Good amount of loot. Lots of rotation options. You can go Turbine. You can go Hammond Labs. You can go Waterfall. You can go Rift. You can go Middle of Nowhere. Gardens. Anywhere, really. Easily third party, though. Once again, like I've said, like 20 other times, because there's lots of rotation options, uh, lots of people can rotate into you. So it is highly contested, and it's easily third party. Um, it's kind of six and a half dozens at that point, whether or not you want to drop Energy Depot. Uh, to rotate or to hopefully get rotated on because like even if you play energy depot and get rotated on it's not a horrible thing to get rotated on because if you're stacked on loot take another fight get more kp and then just go for end game so yeah it also has a beacon spawn uh, potentially if i'm not mistaken too i don't know 100 but even if it doesn't it has really good rotations two beacons so that's uh that's something that uh i would check out i'm not 100 sure though but that is every spot on the map that i can remember I think we covered the new spot, Icarus, Fight Night, a bunch of other stuff like that. So, if you guys have made it this far, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, this video helped you out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you uh, learned something. Hopefully, you know, you, you enjoy these kinds of videos. If you do enjoy these videos, please remember to give this video a like. You know, drop that thumbs up. It really does help the channel. It really tells me that, you know, a lot of people want to uh, see more types of videos like this. And also, the more people that like the video, the more that YouTube sends it out to other people. And then more people can like the video. And then more people can tell me that I want to do videos like this again. I'm going to be trying to get back on track with my videos, uh, dropping videos more frequently, kind of creating content, getting back into the swing of things. So if you guys want to see more videos, uh, drop a comment down below on what, spe what specifically you want to see videos on. I'm going to try and get into the Guess My Rank out soon. But I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have fun. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.